They made their way across the channel just before dawn. Their message as they surrounded St. Helier Port abundantly clear. Brexit-related paperwork and admin, these some 60 French fishing boats say, is preventing them from landing their catch. So it's not at all what had been agreed. So we're here to try and find a solution. And we really hope this will be settled. The protest was largely peaceful. Tensions, though, fraying for some. Two Royal Navy warships, HMS Tamar and HMS Seven, watching on from afar as a precaution. The fishermen say their rights in Jersey waters are being unfairly restricted by licenses issued by the island. Tensions in the dispute even prompted a threat from France this week to cut off the island's electricity supply. Every other fisherman around Europe has a license with conditions uh, that uh, to, uh, to do with the parameter of the boat, the type of gear it can work, where it can work. This situation where the French are, are, are worried or, or, or objecting to the fact that there's conditions on the licenses that they, they have received is just ridiculous. This issue hasn't come about overnight. It's been brewing for some time. The government of Jersey keen to listen, with officials travelling to meet those on the boats halfway, which led to what they say were constructive talks. There are some growing pains, which means that uh, um, you know, fishermen on both sides had perfectly legitimate uh, grievances that we have been trying to sort out. We've been living near France forever. Um, they are our neighbours. Uh, we actually hope to, uh, to develop relationship, um, our relationship with France. But Jersey's bidding with the EU is done by Westminster, the Prime Minister and Channel Island officials meeting too, with clear confidence in calming the fallout. A dramatic 24 hours for an island torn between their neighbours and who are determined not to be the collateral damage of Brexit. Ashna Harinag, Sky News in Jersey.